This is a kid's toy. And it's one that I really love because it's really three-dimensional. It's not just the same thing stacked on top of each other like an office building. It's actually three-dimensional. You use all axes, you're rotating it all around, and I love it. So I'd like to build a really big one. Like, instead of using a little ball bearing, why don't we use a bowling ball? But then, well, you're never going to get a plastic sphere big enough for that, and it would probably crush under its own weight anyway. And if you don't have the sphere, and people kind of under down there rolling it around, then when the bowling ball falls out, you could hit them on the head, and that's no good. So, you may need a really big one, but it needs to be on a frame. A frame that can be twisted and rotated all from the outside without having to stand down underneath of it. It needs to be gimbaled. It needs to be a big gimbaled frame with a maze inside. And that's what I've been working on for a couple months on my prototype, Gimbal Maze. So, it's basically the same thing in that you would have a maze that goes in here. Much bigger, of course. This is roughly one quarter scale, but not everything goes linearly. But the maze would go in here. That's pivoted about one axis. And it's connected to this ring, which is pivoted orthogonally. And that's connected to a ring, which is pivoted orthogonally yet again. So this thing can, the inner maze can be rotated about all three axes. And best of all, it can be done so from the outside. That's what these cranks are for, which go to this series of chain drives that lead as needed to rotate every bit. So the outermost ring is just directly connected to this crank. That's easy. So that's one axis. Then the middle ring connects to these chain drives through a right angle gearbox, a little coaxial slip joint here, with this crank. So if I turn that, the middle ring turns. Very easy. And then likewise, you have the inner ring, which connects out to a chain drive. But this one has to go do this trick twice to get from the middle ring to the outer ring, and then all the way around and out to this external crank right here. And if I turn that, the innermost ring turns. So that's it. That's the gimbal maze prototype. It works pretty well. It'll work better when I'm not using really cheap right angle gearboxes. Those are made for drills and are absolutely the cheapest thing I could find. Um, and they'll also work better when these coaxial slip joints. Right now, that's just a steel-on-steel -steel bearing surface. A lot of friction there. For the final one, I'll do nice press-fit roller bearings on either side. Much lower friction, much smoother. And as you can see in the design renderings, the, crank, the handles, crank handles won't be up here. There'll be another system of chain drive heading on down. The big cranks down here, big ones like this. So it'll take three people to operate, plus some people standing around telling them what to do because they won't have the best perspective on it. It'll be very cooperative and interactive, and I think it's just going to be a whole lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to making the full-scale one, and I'll see you on the playa.